You cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> 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 So yeah, it should come as no surprise that one of my favourite characters from Final Fantasy 16 vs. Far has been Benedicta Harmon, the dominant of Garuda. And I thought we would spend a little bit of time today in celebration of Final Fantasy 16's release at the time of recording tomorrow, one day to go for people to play this masterpiece. I've loved every moment of it behind the scenes and I will be doing a full playthrough live on YouTube itself as soon as I am able to do so. So what we have done then, we've gone into Final Fantasy XIV, we've created a Midlander, I've created a sort of like medium height, because I'm not really sure if she's really that short, and she's not really that tall either, she's kind of average for a sort of humanoid character, and uh, yeah, I think we've done a fairly decent job in terms of the face, let's have um, a side-by-side -side comparison on screen, we're not going to go through all of the details, but we've gone for face 5, because it's the least well awful in terms of uh, comparison. I think the hair is the thing that's going to give you the most mileage when recreating her as a character though. Uh, it's definitely the closest to Benedicta that we could come up with. There are similar hairstyles but they come either with no fringe at all, no bangs, or they have um, intrusive sort of bangs covering the eyes and I wanted it to be as close to her front sort of profile as possible even though the back and the sides isn't necessarily what it could have been. I could have gone for other versions with like, I don't know, the headband and things like that, that could have worked. But there we go. One of the things that took me a while sort of umming and ahhing about was actually the eye color. I decided to just go for green, um, sort of like a faded green. You can't really see her eyes up close much in the demo of Final Fantasy 16, but I presume since she is a, you know, dominant of Garuda, and that's what we're gonna go for with that sort of, um, sort of fantasy, that she would have green eyes. But that's what we've come up with. Nice and basic, nice luscious red lips. Let's go into the game and make the actual glamour. That's the bit you're probably most interested in. Okay then, so this is what we came up with. Nice and flashy, fairly basic, but I think you'll agree it's quite close to the original, or at least as close as I could come up with. I spent quite a considerable amount of hours farming Swallow's Compass for a chess piece and finding out what, you know, the perfect thing would be. There are some outfits that would look better in, in every single way, but uh, not all of them would work. I decided on a samurai because she uses a blade. The other alternative would be a, obviously, a gladiator paladin, that kind of route with the one-handed sword. However, you would have had to, um, you know, glamour away the shield. You would have had to have done quite a few things, and it would have been considerably difficult to have a more soft cloth sort of appearance for the chess piece. So we decided for samurai because this is probably the easiest way to go with this, with the feathered sort of ruffled collar to go with it. I think you'll agree with the comparison on screen it doesn't look too bad so when it comes to the actual individual pieces of course i went for blood of the vortex which is the craftable glowy version of the samurai weapon available at level 50 and above for garuda's weapon obviously uh craftable looks absolutely fantastic i couldn't think of a better option personally when it comes to the boots, then I wanted something that would blend into some tights, not something that doesn't sort of stand out. Benedicta wears uh, basically long, tight boots, um, the kind of like one item. This helps by dyeing this jet black, the best man's gaiters, very easily obtainable from your city states. Uh, we've got the velveteen tights, nice and simple ones. Any tights would really do. I think the velveteen add a nice sort of cupping texture, as you can see. And then we have some of these gloves. These are an absolute work of genius. I got these from Muto in Kagane uh, from a vendor. These are the Bright Linen Long Gloves of Striking. The other options um, that I had in mind were Cash Shop, so we skipped past those. And then, obviously, wrapping this up, all available in-game, uh, was the actual route that I decided to go for. I went for the Bone Wicker Wildlings Jacket. This is obtainable very rarely from the last boss or the surrounding chest before the last boss of the Swallow's Compass dungeon added at level 60-something uh, inside the Stormblood expansion, which was an absolute nightmare to farm. Basically, I got every pair of legs imaginable before I got this on this character, 
And of course, being a new character, I had to level up considerably to get to, to that. But I think, honestly, I've done a decent-ish job when it comes to these glamour creations and NPC recreations. It's always hard to recreate characters outside of the game as it is to, in, uh, you know, recreate characters inside the game. And honestly, whilst I say the Lady Errant's, Errant's gloves would probably be better, I would be hard pushed after looking through the uh, entire Eorzean sort of database um, on, on the lodestone itself to see what kind of long gloves exist that would be equipable by a striking character. This is basically where um, basically my choice fell. But yeah, obviously you could do your own version of Benedicta and I would love to see your own versions. So if you've got your own videos on this feel free to link those in the comment section but yeah let me know what you think about this let me know if you're hyped for final fantasy 16 like i am and i'll see you all next time farewell and now forever she will stand on my character selection screen haunting me every time i log in oh boy oh boy